morning on The Dish, from food styling and photography to the opening of a celebrated restaurant, the dynamic duo you're about to meet can do it all. Write about food, take pictures of it, and cook it in pretty amazing ways. They are the team behind Canal House, the famed cookbook brand that just branched out. If you like looking at great food, or better yet, eating it, meet Hersheimer and Hamilton. 90 minutes west of New York City, in the small town of Milford, New Jersey, nestled near the Pennsylvania border and the Delaware River, there's an old train station that's been turned into something new, a world-class dining destination. Our favorite fried chicken is this it's duck. <laughs> <laughs> the romance of a train station in a little river town with the bridge right there and the river flowing by, and it was really all here. We just edited a few things. Photographer Christopher Hersheimer and food stylist Melissa Hamilton have been editing and cooking together for more than three decades, a creative partnership that has transformed how we look at food. Over the years, Hersheimer and Hamilton's work has graced the pages of books by Julia Child, Lydia Bastianich, and Alice Waters, among many others. First, it was Sever magazine, which emphasized natural light over fussy food placement. Then in 2009, the team launched Canal House Cookbooks, a seasonal publication full of personal travel logs and original recipes that became a hit. There was a feel that we were after. We're really looking for emotional connection. I mean, it's apparent they're, they're, they're gorgeous. And we didn't even want them to be gorgeous, actually. We wanted them Why? to be... Because we didn't want them to be precious, and we didn't want people to sort of hang on. I mean, we wanted them so ephemeral that, that, that once the season was finished, next season comes, you know, toss it, and the next book would come. Each edition of Canal House explores a new theme, from La Dolce Vita and Italian cooking to farmers markets and gardens. In 2013, they won the James Beard Award for Canal House Cooks Every Day, a compilation of recipes for home cooks by home cooks. We don't like to think of ourselves as chefs. We say we're cooks. You know, chefs really run kitchens, and we have to run our kitchen, but our food is more recognizable. We're looking for someone to recognize something when they eat it. And you think of chefs today, they're often trying to surprise you. The way that we cook, we feel like it takes it back to sort of a classic place and flavor. Now with their first restaurant, Canal House Station, the feature for Hersheimer and Hamilton has been on long Sunday dinners, a five-course meal that's meant to be a bit of a throwback. When we opened here, we sort of revived a tradition that used to be a tradition all across this country and, of course, in your, everywhere. The Sunday dinner, families got together, aunts and uncles, it's how you found out what was going on with everyone. Hersheimer and Hamilton showed us how they bring it together. Okay, let's see what's living in here. Including this giant mushroom. Oh, that's so gorgeous. That looks awesome. Aren't those amazing? Yes. That's uh, mayatake. Have you ever had those? That looks so good. The mushroom Hamilton carved was set to be served with duck legs. And this borscht, pureed and prepared with horseradish, sour cream, dill, and chives. By the time they were done, we had a feast that was both a culinary and visual delight. What's your favorite? Right now? Yeah. Right at this moment? <laughs> duck legs with mayatake mushrooms, uh, cipollini, and polenta. I mean, where are you going to get that? Here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it looks tremendous. Here. Also on the table, warm spice pecans, deviled eggs with mayo, Dijon mustard, sour cream, smoked salmon, and chives, a green salad, and that borscht. I don't think I've ever seen a dish with better color than that borscht. The beets did all the work. There was also apple almond cake for dessert and a cocktail of gardener's gin and lemon. Cheers. Cheers. For the time being, Hersheimer and Hamilton have not been able to serve all this regularly inside the restaurant. But they are still doing their version of Sunday dinner in takeout form, so people who still crave the classics can enjoy at home. It's That's still yeah. having a yeah. kind of a communal experience. And we'll get back to the way it was. Hopefully we'll throw away the bad parts and keep yeah. the good things that we learned and slow it down. It's a gorgeous setting. It's incredible food, and they're just wonderful and to spend time with. 
in uh, there right in my own backyard. Yeah, Milford. Not, <laughs> I'm not, like, hmm. Not too far from you. Uh, yeah. I got to tell you, that, that borscht was one of the best things I've ever had. Wow. It looked beautiful. 